inside the IMT cabin, the rig is A215 and I'll show you some movement we have to do to prepare the rig for drilling and later how to drill. Uh, we have basically two joysticks, one left joystick, one right joystick. So, swing clockwise, anti-clockwise, then if I move forward, this one, the main winch going out, if I pull back, the winch goes up, goes up. Again, main winch down, main winch up. Now we are we are going to talk about the right joystick. If I move the joystick like this, the rotary turn clockwise. And this is the way to drill. If I move the joystick in this way, the rotary move anti-clockwise to unlock the calibar when we finish to drill. Then, if I move the joystick in front, the rotary going down. If I move the joystick back, the rotary goes up. And one important thing is, when while I'm rotating and I push in front the joystick, the kelly bar goes up, goes down, following the rotary. We call this uh, system free flow. I mean, during drilling, we don't need to push any switches to touch any pedal. It's automatic. Okay. I show you. We have two joysticks to move the tracks in front and back. Now, we move back. Now we move in front. Of course, the direction is the opposite because the platform is rotated under 80 degrees. When everything is normal, if I push the joystick in front, the track move in front. When I push the joystick back, the, the track move back. The first two joystick leaving in the left are to move the tilt cylinder. Now, we have to use this tilt cylinder mainly for two things. First, to put the rig from uh, uh, operating from drilling position to horizontal position, in transport position. Then, also to find the verticality of the mast. As you can see, we can monitor the level on this uh, display. Then, the third one is to move the jib, the back, and in front. The, th the fourth part is the auxiliary winch. Auxiliary winch down, auxiliary winch up. Just this. We have two options to change the rotary speed. One option is change the rotary speed by switch located on the dashboard. This is the speed number one for big diameter or for hard soil. Speed number two. This is the speed to medium diameter and medium soil. Speed number three is for small diameter and easy soil, soft soil. In case we want to use the, the joystick, we just we turn the switch, the light disappear and then we can use the joystick switch located in the joystick. Again, speed number one, we have high power and low speed, big diameter and hard rock. Speed number two, medium power, medium diameter, medium soil. Speed number three, small diameter or easy soil and we have I work in speed, number three. By this throttle, 
I can increase or decrease the engine RPM. Maximum engine RPM are 1,300.